Well, a thief steals two pieces of artwork right off the wall of a business in Centennial. What the thief may not have known is the artist behind the paintings passed away in February. Now his widow is pleading for the return of her late husband's work. Jamie Leary joins us live there now tonight. Jamie, she says this is about so much more than the money. Well, the couple actually met over his artwork. The pieces, some of which were sold inside this vape shop, were taken during business hours. This art helped his widow overcome her addiction, and while it couldn't help him, it's still inspiring others. And his widow now wants the thief to hear her message. Look at his face. Like, he doesn't even care. Like, he's just like, do, do, do another, you know, another day. Riley Wigginton is still trying to wrap her head around it. There are blank spots where her husband's art sat for sale. The pieces stolen in just under a minute. You stole from me. You stole from my husband. You stole from our children. Her late husband, Matt Oxiger, was an artist. I mean, Matt spent days on each piece, sometimes months. Who, through his work, helped others struggling with addiction before passing away from his own. That's what he brought to the world, his art. I mean, you can see his emotions. The thief made away with two prints, valued at more than $800. He knew what he was doing. Riley doesn't know who the man is, but the surveillance is clear. The employee goes around the corner to the back to get the manager and as he's doing that the guy quickly grabs the art off the wall and before they're up to the front he's out the door. Riley wants that man to know he stole more than just a piece of art. Maybe it was just something to hang up on a wall for him but for me it's everything. While the art supports Matt's family it's also important to people struggling with addiction like Matt was and for Riley keeping this going is how I keep my husband's legacy going. The Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office was here this morning looking over some of that surveillance video, and as you saw, it's pretty clear. The case is under investigation. Live in Centennial, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First.